Today's class is The Magnetic Beauty of Women. The Magnetic Beauty of Women. This is part one. Poems have been written about the beauty of women for thousands of years. Uh, the shape, the body, the face, the eyes, the lips. There's, there's been something said about every body part about women, the beauty, the curves, in tremendous uh, detail and with, treme with tremendous eloquence. It's been primarily talking about the outer beauty. Now, there have been some where the inner beauty and the virtue of a woman is, is going into in great detail, uh, such as in Proverbs, I believe it's chapter 31, talking about a virtuous woman, a, a virtuous wife, how she's more precious than rubies and jewels. But the thousands and thousands of uh, poems and thousands and thousands of, of, of uh, poetry. And when you compare the number of poems about a man's uh, attractiveness or good looks or handsomeness, it's nothing in comparison. I mean, I, I don't even, I've never even seen one. <laughs> I'm sure they exist. We hear about feats of power, uh, certain attributes such as wisdom or honor, uh, a warrior uh, prowess, athletic prowess. But you don't hear too much or read too much or poetry, or poems about the beauty of a man, the physical beauty, inner beauty. It's because we really focus on the beauty of a woman. And I'm calling it the magnetic beauty of a woman, and we're going to talk about why I didn't just call it the beauty of a woman, but the magnetic beauty of a woman. Why is that? Why did I choose the magnetic beauty of a woman as opposed to just the beauty of a woman. And the reason I did that, if you have a woman with just perfect symmetry and proportion in terms of her body, in terms of her face and lips, nose, eyes, everything. And if she has with that inner beauty, then she has magnetic beauty. We're not talking now about, uh, when it's about magnetism, we're not talking about animal magnetism, the sexual magnetism, talking about another kind of magnetism right now. And we're going to go into what that is. But if a woman has the inner beauty of character and virtue along with the outer beauty, then, then she's a more powerful magnet. So it becomes a very powerful magnetic beauty. So you can have two women, it's identical twins, and they look exactly the same. Well, let's say one has very... Uh, pleasant thoughts, positive thoughts, keeps a constructive outlook, walks around just grateful for what she has in her life. And others walking around always think about what she doesn't have and complaining and resentful and always upset about little things in her life. Compared to her sister, compared to her twin sister, she will not have as much magnetic beauty. She has the identical physical beauty, but less magnetic beauty. This is the core of what we'll be talking about today. Less magnetic beauty than the one with, a, with the more beautiful thoughts inside of, as I say, appreciation, gratitude, spiritual thoughts, and so forth, will be, have a greater magnetic power. I want to see whether you agree with that, your thoughts about that before we proceed, because that's the fundamental premise of what we're talking about today. Naheem, what are your thoughts? I think magnetic beauty is very very important um, because a person can be um, physically beautiful and walk around and if it uh, doesn't have that uh, um, inner beauty and the magnetic beauty I think it's not going to be really that uh, important I mean, it's not going to be that good either because very soon um, other people will notice that she doesn't have it and they pull themselves away. As soon as they see what the inner person is like, then she won't look as beautiful. Or you could take a woman less physically beautiful, but to the extent she has that virtue and beautiful thoughts, she will literally, literally get to look physically more beautiful to you.